It's a billion dollar business and the most popular sport in America. But do you know where football came from? In the 1860s, the British game of rugby came to America. At the same time, athletic clubs began to pop up around the country. A variation of rugby called American football started to gain steam. On November 6, 1869, teams from Rutgers and Princeton met in the first intercollegiate football game. Back then, there were 20 men on each team and the game looked a lot like rugby. There were no forward passes and dangerous massive pileups were common. In 1892, the coach from Yale cut the number of players on each team to 11 and instituted the system of downs we're familiar with today. But the game was still brutal. By 1905, nearly 180 players suffered serious injuries and there were 18 deaths linked to football. President Teddy Roosevelt called upon Harvard, Yale, and Princeton to come up with reforms to change the game. They created the NCAA and instituted the forward pass. On September 17, 1920, the American Professional Football Association was formed. The 10-team league only lasted two years but was reorganized in 1922 as the National Football League. A rival league, the American Football League, was formed in 1960. The two organizations competed for players, which drove up salaries. In 1966, they merged and agreed that each league's champion would meet in a game called the Super Bowl. In the ensuing years, football has become the most popular sport in America, a billion-dollar business, and a key part of American Thanksgiving and New Year's celebrations. The Super Bowl is now an unofficial holiday and a worldwide phenomenon.